opening up that to debate tonight and we are getting a lot of phone calls into our newsroom a lot of angry calls from our viewers i am not taking phone calls however at this stage of the program might do in the last five minutes of this news our debate tonight i'd like to welcome dr sandeep shastri's political commentator and pro vc of jain university is joining us from bangalore Thank you for joining us. I think it's the first time, Dr. Shastri. I look forward to having you many more times. And we have familiar face uh, Mohan Das Pai joining us from Bangalore, former director Inf uh, of Infosys, yes, uh, one of India's best known entrepreneurs. Meenakshi Lekhi, uh, BJP leader, senior advocate of the Supreme Court, and Bejon Mishra, a consumer expert. Thank you very much. Bejon Mishra, may I begin by asking you, and please forgive me tonight. Thank you. Everyone will be affected. I too will be affected by the diesel price hike. So if I ask you questions on the other side, it's not because I won't be affected. It's only to put the ball in your court. Bejan Mishra, my question to you is, what is the alternative? The government says, present me the alternative. Oil farms are losing 450 crore rupees per day because they are selling diesel prices that are 15.55 rupees a litre lower than the cost. So the government says, I'm only increasing the prices by five rupees. Why are people making such a big deal about it? Why can't the government bring down their taxes by five rupees? And I'm, 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 my question to the government is that. Why cannot the government take the butt and, and, and ensure that they bring in good, efficient governance by reducing the taxes on you know, uh, petroleum products, so that it does, there is no increase or there is no burden given on to the consumer. And this is very simple. They are completely insensitive towards the issues of the consumer. They are least concerned about the consumer. They are only concerned about how they can raise money for the government in the shortcut manner. And all that loss which the oil companies are showing, it is all misleading actually, because it is actually showing inefficiency amongst them. It is not showing that uh, good the, point. You know, the uh, world price is affected. Good point. Now, now here's good, good point. And on, add on top of that, Dr. No. Shastri, add on top of that, that diesel is hiked by 5 rupees per litre, but I'm also informed that excise on petrol is cut by 5 rupees 30 paise per litre. What does that mean, Dr. D D Dr. Shastri? That means you are nullifying any benefit that accrues to the government on the basis of diesel and LPG hikes. Then what is this all about? Now, it's very clear that the economics of it may have been thought of by the government, but the politics of it, they have gone totally off board or they have gone totally crazy on that. When you have a coalition government in place, when you have other parties to take into account in taking a decision. If such a decision is to be made and if you see the reactions coming, there may be, and that itself can be contested, there could be a rationale for the economics of the decision. But I think the politics of the decision is totally... No, but where is the rationale totally for the economics suicide. of the decision if you are going to one minute? Bajan Mishra, you raised your hand, I want to go to everyone first. Where is the economics of the decision? Where is the rationale? Is there because uh, I want to go to Manakshi Lekhi? No, what, uh, no, because I, I, you, you I, I are. Think you are the argument that was made that there were other ways, there were other in ways in which the 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 five rupee cost which they now want to levy could have been raised either through reduction of no, no. taxes or through <coughs> five greater rupees. rationalization of expenditure. I think the cynicism. No, why the reduce? No, no, why reduce excise on I petrol? No, no, simple question. Simple question is, no, I'm saying, why this, reduce excise no, no, on petrol? That the citizen is paying for, is it going to be rationally spent, I think is a huge, no, uh, huge no, concern no, Dr. Dr. in Sha the common Dr. Dr. Shastri, my point to you is, is this all one big drama or has somebody said a fixed match? Because yesterday, and I'm just not, I'm, I'm being very decent, I'm not naming the minister. Spoke to a minister and he said, the proposal is 50 to 100 rupees increase in LPG, they have not done that. 3 to 5 rupees increase in petrol, they have not done that. They've actually cut, the, they've cut excise in petrol. And diesel, he mentioned a figure of about 6 rupees, they've done 5 rupees. So they've done more. The worry is, Minakshi Lekhi, that this is possibly all drama. Because, you know, you can, if you were serious about it, you would not go ahead with a excise cut in petrol, would you? Would you? There's no logic for it. The, the drama is to... The, the drama is to uh, curtail the media and others speaking about 
uh, Colgate and shift the focus onto price rise which affect the whole country and as we have seen in the past that when it was petrol <laughs> hike at that time itself the diesel hike was in offing when it is come uh, March and it is time for uh, uh, the uh, budget session the, there is no hike come Delhi elections, MCD elections, they, uh, uh, they, they don't uh, hike it. Immediately after losing the MCD elections, they hike the price. And when in a polity, uh, uh, a gentleman spoke about the polity, that politics of this is bad and they may have some economic reasoning, I think the politics itself is bad enough because it's not just about coalition government, it's about a parliamentary structure of the government. Any price hike, any major decision, any FDI, Anything coming from Pakistan, you need to discuss it openly in the parliament if there is any transparency no, to your actions. I don't understand your argument, Meenakshi, about this being... No, I, I don't understand your argument about this being a way to counter Colgate. I mean, if this is a way to counter Colgate, then somebody is in Bad suicide enough. mode. If, you know, if the only way to counter Absolutely. Colgate is by increasing <laughs> prices... Then you buy that argument. Let's no, go no, to Mohandas Pai. Focus. Mohandas Pai. No, no I, I just want to end, I, I add one more line. I just want to add one more line to my argument. Uh, uh, keep it going for about a week. A new headline is made and roll back the price to half. Or That's one absurd. No, that would be so irresponsible. It's a bad decision. That would be so it completely is, I mean, this is irresponsible, irresponsible thing to do. do I have to say more? Why would the government do that? Your rating agencies, rating agencies are going to butcher you if you do that. You know, in fact, now if you roll back, the rating agencies will butcher you even more. And for whatever Dr. Manmohan Singh's government may say, they bother about rating agencies. So I don't buy that argument, but well, I'll, I'll stop there. I'll let Mohandas Pai come in. What do you think of what she said? Anna. Anab, it is the right decision the government of India has taken. They right. should have taken it earlier. They have taken it rightly now. They have brought down the difference between diesel and petrol. If they increase the petrol price, there has been a diversion of uh, diesel and people have consumed more of diesel. They want to bring down the difference. They raise the price of diesel when the cost has gone up by 14 rupees. The subsidy is 14 rupees. They have brought it down to 9 rupees. Instead of raising petrol prices, they cut the tax. It means that you have lower tax, but you pay less subsidy. And reducing the number of cylinders to families for six is very good because an ordinary family only consumes to one cylinder for two months. What is the I definition of an orderly family? Please I'm sorry. There was a what is the definition of an orderly family? Bejon Mishra wants to ask you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. One second. Let, let's. No, no. One second. Mohandas Pai. Mohandas Pai, you're a rich man. You may be able to afford cylinders at whatever yes. cost. Now, you ask somebody else that I give you six cylinders at a what? What? What is the present rate? 300, 350 rupees. And the rest of the cylinders, you pay 750 rupees. Rupees per cylinder, seven fifty rupees, eight hundred rupees per cylinder. I want to add. No, no, one sec. Bejon Mishra. Bejon Mishra. Anna, a family of five. Yes. Anna, if yes. Okay, okay. Complete your point. Family of five consumes one cylinder for two months. So, are you going I to restrict people? That family. No, are you are you going to? They are they they are very. Well, I also want to meet that family. <laughs> Bejon Mishra, go ahead. <laughs> An orderly family, Mohandas Pai says. I'm sorry, Mohandas Pai. What is she doing? Mohandas Pai says an orderly family of five Arnab, consumes Arnab. one cylinder every two months. Arnab, Arnab. Uh, as consumer I think let's have a right voting on that. As much the consumer has to be given what they want Look at, at the any data, time, Arnab. 24 by 7. There cannot be a rationing of any product. Please pay the price. Let's understand that if so I want a it. product... I should get it any time, anywhere, where I want. Nobody yes. has a right to ration. And yes. I want to make sure that, you see, yes. the government, when they ration, they are actually encouraging black marketing, they are encouraging smuggling, they are putting again an extra burden on the consumer. So the market has to be very, very market driven. There has to be choice. There has to be competition. And I do I not believe this stage, government please. lacks enough. That okay, one minute. I want to also get in Prasenjit Bose. Prasenjit Bose, who is, who is, I, I, Dr. Shastri, I'm just coming to you, sir. Just want to take an initial round and then we open this up because <coughs> so many points of view are coming. Um, Prasenjit Bose, still recently with the CPIM, uh, left leaning economist, is joining us from Delhi. Prasenjit Bose, I want to play devil's advocate with you. Government says every time. Prices go up by one dollar. Our subsidy goes up by seven thousand dollars. 
every time our currency depreciates, falls by one rupee per dollar, our subsidy goes up by 4,000 crores. Now, why, who is going to, you know, who is going to balance these numbers, Prasenjit? Who is going to balance these numbers? Uh, well, I mean, I, well, I think that first of all, the government has to uh, decide upon its priorities. And as far as the rupee depreciation is concerned, the government is also responsible. Why is the why has the rupee been allowed to depreciate such steeply? by over uh, you know almost uh, now it is 55 uh, uh, rupees a dollar a uh, year back year and a half back it was uh, 10 rupees less than that so this rupee depreciation that the government is talking about is also the government has to take responsibility why this depreciation has taken place which is today being passed on to the consumers but at a larger level i think there are three issues which needs to be addressed number one is that in india the economic situation is turning out to be a very precarious and serious one the growth rate is coming down. The fiscal projections, the government in the last budget had cut, cut the fuel subsidies by 25,000 crore. That is the genesis of the problem. Now there, further there is a problem because the growth rate is coming down, the revenues are going down, the expenditures are not going down on other heads. So therefore the government is faced with a further fiscal problem. What they are trying to do is that they are trying to find soft targets. And soft this targets? Price hike, this diesel price okay, hike this is, is a soft target a soft theory. Target. Okay. They are trying to pass on the entire burden of adjustment of the fisc on to the consumers. And mind you, the inflation rate, the food inflation rate is still more than 10%. We are witnessing double digit food inflation rate. And if you hike the price of diesel, you are going to have a situation where food prices are going to go up. Because your farmers' fuel costs are going to go up. I agree with you. Transportation charges. That's a good point. And it will inevitably. Lead That's a good point. But I, but 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 so one I, minute, sir. One minute. One minute. Political commentator, Dr. Sadeep Shastri, raised his hand twice. Mohandas Pai, you're nodding your head. But let me tell you, Mohandas Pai, on my phone this evening, <laughs> I have so many yes. messages right now in the last five seconds to your comment about a prudent family uh, using one cylinder uh, every two months, I am uh, now doing a ready reckoner. So wherever you're watching news are tonight, I am right now doing a ready reckoner of what the impact will be for an imprudent, badly disciplined Indian family that consumes one cylinder every month. So if sure. you want to know what your, what your financial impact will be if you consume one cylinder a month under the new dispensation, I will tell you the answer to that in three minutes. But before that, I want to ask uh, Dr. Sandeep Shastri, why do sure. you disagree with Prasenjit Bose? Uh, I, I disagree on, the, on one point. I, I go back to the point you raised earlier. I was speaking to somebody who has a family of four and is a typical middle class family. And they did say that on, a, on an average in a year, the family has to use up around eight to nine cylinders. So you are talking of an increased cost for even a small family of four. I think the whole crisis today with regard to this price increase is the common citizen somewhere feels that the citizen has been asked to pay for everything, whereas the rogue should have actually been greater prudence, greater economy, and greater direction from the side of the government. There, and uh, given the context of all the financial Stamps. bunglings that people are talking about, the common citizen gets the feeling that he or she is asked to pay for what the government has not been able to effectively manage. I, and I think this impression no, which is, is the in the minds citizen, of common no, is citizens the common citizen is not something which can so. be very easily... No, no, one second, you are uh, getting a uh, rebut.